What's happening, everybody? This is the Travel and Salvation Show. Here, we renovate, we resell, and we travel around while we do it all. Today, we are going to resell, and we have packed our lunch. We got our lunch with us. So come along with us if that's something you enjoy. We are at Joseph's Coat, and we have been doing pretty good here lately. Actually got a super awesome Patagonia, like, barn jacket, chore jacket, vintage from here a while back. And I can't tell you, endless amounts of other stuff. Let's go in here and see what we can get here today. Pretty cool, but a little bit too much. I mean, they sell those for 150 new, all the way down to like on sale for like 75 new, 80 new. All right, I'm debating on getting these. These are vintage, made in the USA, Buttonfly, Levi. I can't tell if these are white or acid watch or they've been bleached. But the tag is missing. Ugh, I hate that. But they are made in the USA. They are vintage. And they're only $4. So I may go ahead and pick them up. Not a huge score here, but the numbers are really good. There's 30 listed and 55 sold. Uh, these lacrosse gloves, get them for four. Sell them for like 25 or 30. So we'll pick them up for sure. Pick one more thing up on the way out, and it is this odd. I don't want to touch it because it's something in brackets, and this one does too. Gets that black stuff on it on your hands. You never get it off. It sticks to everything. But look at the size of that racket. I you can't see it in the camera, but it's really wide, and then goes really thin up here. Really, we'll pull it out. Really weird looking thing. Really can't see it in the camera though. It goes for about 50 to 60 bucks. I got all of this for five bucks with the bag, and I hadn't looked that one up, so it may it may do okay too or i'll just donate it to someone else and then rebecca got chick-fil-a travel mug it's from the grand opening of the chick-fil-a i got it for 50 cent i could get 15 for it and then i got velvet victoria's secret shorts for three dollars and i can get 20 for them all right goodwill store and donation center we are about to see what we can get here. I found some pretty good stuff. We come in here and pick one or two things, but they've been good, expensive things. Got a really nice pair of disgustingly ugly yellow Nikes here a while back. Sold them almost instantly for 120 bucks, yep. 110 bucks, something like that. So that was a good pickup. We've had some other ones. Right. I found one thing in there that was worth buying. Really high sales rate. I don't even know what it was. Some type of Sony electronic. I said it before. I said it again. You don't have to know what you are even buying to buy and sell on eBay. And I didn't know then. But Rebecca got a few things. She yeah. got some cups. I got two IHOP cups for 89 cents a piece. And I could get $15 a piece for those. And I got a Starbucks cup for a dollar and some change. And I can get 15 for that. And I also got a kid's Nike dry fit hat for $2 and I can get 15 for that. Nike dry hat, the dry fit hats sell good. Even the baby one, I've sold yeah. baby dry fit hats for a lot of money. This is a small little independent thrift store that we do quite well at. We are going to see what we can get here. Sometimes we get things that are worth multiple hundreds of dollars here. Just one item or lots of single items worth hundreds of dollars. Not much there today. Rebecca got a koozie, a what? Koozie? Uh, Lily Pulitzer. It's a really good brand. I got it for 75 cents and I can get like six bucks for it. Mm. So we can go to Hawaii now. Yeah. All right, Salvation Army. I picked up a handy cam here the other day and a bunch of Jordans. So we should do, maybe we should do pretty good here. I didn't jinx it myself. Nothing there. A couple of things they did have was overpriced. So on to the next one. All right, try to block the wind. We are in Macon today, new place, new time. Next day, we are at a Goodwill. I found a $800 bat here the other day. No kidding, $800 bat. I'll show it to you real quick up here. $55, see, that's what they do, $149.99. They're like, ooh, 55 is a good deal. That's a $29 coffee maker. All right, so I thought this was gonna be something good. $13.31, cent, untested. There are about five or six of these listed, one $75 free shipping. And there's only two sold, one for 75, one for 45. So I'm gonna pass that up, but Disney, and it's a gimme or Jimmy, whatever, G-E-M-M-Y. But 
Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I did just the numbers don't add up. These Jordans, there's four listed and five sold. However, and usually I can fix some of this, but they're seven ninety nine. They sell for like fifty. Look right there. They're just a little worn and not so great looking. I'm just gonna pass them up. For seven ninety nine. They need to be in better shape than that. There's a few things in there, but their prices were... Actually, even the stuff that their prices were on, that's what's crazy, is the stuff that their prices were high on, we wouldn't even want. We're not going to jinx ourselves this time by saying we get good stuff or don't get good stuff here. We're just going to go in and get good stuff. So as soon as we walked in there, I saw an old dude carrying a DVD VCR Magnavox, a Magnavox DVD VCR combo. And I knew they went my 60 to 100 bucks. What'd you get? I got a Gatorade GX bottle. It's the kind that takes the pods and you just push it down uh, for $3 and I can get 15. These sell super fast. There's only 11 listed and like 40 sold. I wish I just had a truckload of those. <laughs> just a rescue mission. We do okay here. The prices are really high, but one of the things, if you can come on their half off day and catch their tag, they kind of do like Goodwill with the colored tags. You can get some stuff that sells really good and really fast for a decent price and make a good profit. Sometimes you can make a good profit in here just because they don't know what they have, but for the most part, prices are just too high. I found some Nike Cortez. The prices are all over the place. They want nine dollars and 99 cent for them from i'm just gonna take a chance so i'm gonna win they want 20 dollars for these but they don't know that they are worth about 120 so we're gonna pick them up along with them other ones also all right you saw the shoes we got and i'll show you one more time these i knew they'd do good the high top versions do really well also but at least 120 there's one on there that just took one bid for 120 so i could possibly get more for those this though is what you did not get to see it was, they have a little counter there, like a lot of places do, glass counter. And they've been there for a while. I've been watching these things. These are Ray-Bans and they look like they got floral like frames and we couldn't find them for the longest time. We kept looking them up when we came here. We finally found some that were sold for $224. We did pay 70 bucks for these. We got a discount on something though, cause it all added up to be 99 bucks or I didn't pay tax or something. But for $224, possibly more, that's a good pickup. Lenses are in pretty good shape. We'll clean them up really well. And I'll probably ask about three for those actually. One more Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. All right, this is a tough one, guys. They want $40 for this weather station. There's like three listed for $245, but they've sold for around $100 plus $36 shipping. So I don't know if I want to get it because it'll sell even for 120 bucks and I'll triple my money. Eh, a little less without fees, but there's only a couple left, and they're going for 245 So should I spend the 40 to get the 120 or the 100 or whatever to double my money maybe, or try to set it up and wait for the 245 or should I leave it? I don't know. Comment. Tell me what you think. What would you guys do? What would you do? Would you get it for 40 sell it for 120 or list it for 245 or just leave it? Sales good. Okay, it's not exactly a vintage t-shirt, but it is from 2008. And there's a couple of versions of these that some people are like, they're trying to get 150 bucks for. Realistically, I can get about 25 bucks for this. I don't know, this collar's kind of stretched out. I don't even know if I want to get it with that going on, but I don't know, let me think about that. They want six bucks for it and I could get maybe 30. I left the shirt and the wind weather station thing or whatever it is. I just need some more solid numbers when I'm spending $40 on something. And it was kind of mixed. You know, whatever was coming for 110, some been sold twice, I guess they canceled the order. And $245, I need to see multiple $245 before I can count on listing something for $245 and getting the money for it. Oh, and the neck was too stretched out on the Mario shirt. It's just, I don't want to deal with that. This is rescue mission number two. Sometimes we get stuff here, sometimes we don't, but it is super huge place, full of cool stuff. And sometimes even if the stuff is overpriced, it's cool to look at. I actually forgot if I got this on camera or not while I was in the store. It's an Easton, I forget the model number, but we did good, really good on bats. S1, it's BB1, S, BB1, 1S1, but I don't know, I look them up and if they sell, I'll sell them. I don't know much about bats. Again, on eBay, you don't have to know anything about anything. One of the best couple of days thrifting, but it was still really good. 
you gotten any value out of this, hit the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thumbs up is the like, isn't it? Yeah. Well, make up a new button and hit that one too. Go to our website, hit all the buttons over there. You can go to our eBay store, you can buy something from there, or you can go and hit the Amazon link, buy some really expensive stuff there, and we'll get some money off of that. That's a good way to support the channel if you don't want to just fork up some money or send us a new set of motorhome tires or something, whatever, like that. You don't want to do that, just go buy something. Hit the Amazon button. Till the next time, people, keep thrifting. Bye.